Hi, I'm Brittany Stanton, creator of Textile India, website for basket weavers, dyers, and other makers. Today, I'm going to share the different kinds of finishes you can use on your baskets. You can use a stain finish or a sealer finish or something in between. You want to finish off your baskets so that they don't mold. The natural read of the basket will retain moisture and over time, if it remains damp, it can start to accumulate mold. Uh, mold will grow on the reed and we don't want that to happen. So, Our so. combinations are just a sealer, a stain with a sealer, or a stain sealer mix. A stain is something that will dramatically change the color of your basket. I have here a couple different stain options that I've used. This is a honey, darker color. This summer oak stain I used on this basket here. Uh, a stain colors the basket, but it doesn't necessarily seal it if it doesn't have a sealer already in the stain. So you want to be aware when you're choosing your stains to also to get one that also has a sealer in it, or you will need to seal over top of the stain once it's dry. For sealers, I have this clear wood finish. You can also get Danish oil wood finishes. Often basket companies will sell a spray-on sealing that, sealer that you can get in a spray-on can to apply. Um, this guy here I sprayed with this clear wood finish. Um, also a note about sealers is to get a satin finish um, unless you want glossy finish. But a glossy finish will leave your basket looking more plastic than the natural wood texture so just be aware of what texturization you're getting in the sealer you're purchasing. A sealer finishes off the reed so that it doesn't take on grime or oils or absorb moisture so you use a sealer to finish it off. Um, you can use the sealer on top of a stain or just the plain sealer on top of reed. I'll show you how to apply those. You'll need brushes. You can use foam brushes. I prefer bristle brushes and I have a couple here in different sizes. I also have several different colors of stain and a couple spray sealers. Today I'll be using this summer oak stain. I also have a piece of paper laid out that I will be using as my ground cloth. First, I will go over sealing a basket using a clear spray sealer. First, shake your can of sealer the amount of time it suggests on the back of the can. And then holding the spray can 6 to 10 inches from your basket. Here I'm working around the outside of the basket and then from the inside of the basket, spraying evenly around the basket. Lift the handle up if you have one. Wire handles get messy if they have the sealer on them, so try to move that out of your way. And allow 10 minutes for the sealer to dry before adding a second coat. For the second coat, work from the bottom and catch all the walls and the rim and the inside and spray hand, your handle if you have a wooden piece on your handle as well. To use a stain, you'll be using a bristle brush and the ground cloth and you want to shake the can of stain vigorously to get all of the mixture mixed well. Open it up here, I'm using a butter knife, and you want to only dip about an inch of the bristles or less into the stain to work. You don't want them getting into the base of the bristles. Um, the stain there is not useful and it makes the brush messy and apply the stain by brushing gently back and forth and then stippling, doing an up and down motion with your brush to get it into the nooks and crannies. There are a lot of layers in the reed in these baskets and you want to get the stain into all of these layers and all the cracks so that you don't have white spots showing through or the natural reed spots showing through after you've done applying the stain. I'm gonna speed this up here a little bit so that you can see the whole process. I'm working around the base of the basket so that I can hold the rim. 
So here I'm brushing back and forth to evenly spread out the stain. You don't want drips of stain on your basket as you're working. So use the stippling motion to get it into the nook and crannies and then uh, brush it back and forth to get all the drips brushed out and evenly coated. Here's the stippling motion in a little more detail. I'm going brushing back and forth and then pressing the bristles quite strongly into the nooks and crannies and getting both the bottom and top edges of the reed to take on stain. As you get close to the rim, just work around up until the rim so you still have somewhere to hang on to and then you'll be going onto the inside to stain the inside of the basket. So here this opening on this basket is fairly small and so I'm having to um, work at odd angles to get this stain to apply to the reek inside the basket. So do what you have to do to get the get the stain to apply evenly inside your baskets. Here I'm working kind of at an angle and having to brush a little bit more than I did on the outside to get it spread out. section here will be the rim. Make sure to catch all the nooks and crannies, get all the edges. There's a lot of edges on the rim between the lashing and seagrass. Do a final coat over your basket. Make sure to look it over well and then brush on the base of your basket. You'll brush on the base here, applying the stain onto the base, and this will be the last part of the basket that needs stain. And then look it over carefully to make sure you have caught all areas of the basket. Give it a good once over, fill in any areas you may have missed. And this will be the first coat of stain. If you want to add a second coat, you can, or leave it at this and let it dry for the amount of time suggested on the can of stain. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on any fiber arts videos that I share by subscribing below and check out my website, Textile Indie, where I share more fiber arts techniques and tutorials.